This is the only fuel cell SUV. We call it the Hyundai Nexo, and it's incredibly easy to refill. Hydrogen stations are a lot like regular gas pumps, with a few innovative perks. In just five minutes, it's full and will automatically click off. With a full tank, you're good to go for about another 380 miles. Zero emissions, more mileage, no overnight charging. Every future is possible in the Hyundai Nexo. This is our future utility vehicle. And when we say future, of course, we mean technology. And in terms of technology, I'm not only talking about the hydrogen powertrain, but I'm also talking about the design of the vehicle, the features of the vehicle as well. For example, you have the daytime running lights here. The daytime running lights run all the way across the front of the vehicle, and this is truly unique in the full automotive sector. Then here, we've got the composite headlights. The composite headlights, of course, are a Hyundai Pacific feature. Then we've got our cascading grill, which is, of course, Kende Pacific as well. And then in the front, to help with aerodynamics, we've opened up the bumper here in the front. So typically you would have a lot of air buildup. This has now been opened up so that air can simply flow through and give you the most aerodynamic ride as possible. Here along the side of the vehicle, we've also integrated technology into the design as well. You see here, the air dam is opened up so the air flows across the wheel. Of course, you think wheels aren't very aerodynamic, but we've optimized the design of this wheel so that the maximum amount of air flows over it while the minimum amount still goes in and cools off the brake. Also along the side here, we have retractable door handles. It's the first time we've introduced them. Now it also helps, of course, aerodynamics overall. Here on the back of the vehicle, we have the D-pillar spoiler. Now this is an actual functioning spoiler which speeds up the air that's coming across so that the car has the best aerodynamics possible. Then on the back, you see that we have no rear wiper. It's actually been hidden up underneath the rear spoiler here, giving the car the best aerodynamics possible. Here on the interior of the vehicle, we have many new innovative features, such as the shift by wire system. With shift by wire, it's a simple press of a button to select the gear that you need. On top of that, that shift by wire system has allowed us to open up the center console. So underneath, we have the tray where you have wireless charging, USB, and of course storage for other items. 
On top of all of this, we offer the 12.3 inch navigation screen. Now this display is not only navigation, but also where your power is coming from. And on top of that, all the fuel cell stations along your route to make sure you get where you're going. We have a new innovative safety feature called blind spot view monitoring. With blind spot view monitoring, you turn on your turn signal and the camera here on the side mirror actually shows you what's in your blind spot. Now most people would think, of course, why can't I just turn around myself and look what's in the blind spot? This is, camera has been optimized to see better than what the human eye can see in the rain and at night. On top of all of this, in terms of safety, we also have lane following assist. Now lane following assist is the next step of lane keeping assist. Lane keeping assist typically only looks at one lane. This takes it to the next step and is watching both sides of the lane or the road edge, keeping the exact center all the time that you're driving. Overall, there's also remote parking assist. So when you find a parking spot and perhaps it's too small to get out of the vehicle, you drive past a spot, turn on the remote parking assist, simply step out of the vehicle, press the button on the key, and the car can park itself, either a 90 degree parking spot or parallel parking. Hi everyone, I'm Lana Titus and I'm here with Jerome Grejois and he is a very important guy here at Hyundai. Tell us what you do. Uh, I'm a senior manager uh, for the uh, Hyundai Technical Center um, and I work on, um, on powertrains. And today you're going to talk to us about something very specific, the Nexo. It's powered by hydrogen but it's actually electric. Can you break that down for us? That's correct. We call it a, a fuel cell electric vehicle. So it is a, a electric vehicle, a, an electric motor drives the wheels. Uh, but instead of storing its electricity in the form of a battery, it has a, a power plant that's next to us. Uh, what it does is it's creating its electricity real time on demand uh, through an electrochemical process. Got it. So you're saying the vehicle doesn't require a bunch of heavy batteries to operate? Uh, so, yes, ele electric vehicles are storing their energy in batteries, and uh, the batteries can be uh, large, they can be heavy, they can be expensive. Uh, and instead of using those large batteries, we have uh, three tanks in the Nexo that uh, store compressed hydrogen. And those tanks are uh, small enough that we do not need to intrude into the cargo space or the passenger space uh, inside the vehicle. All right, Jerome, so how does the Nexo convert hydrogen into electricity and move the Nexo down the road? All right, so you're looking at the heart of the, the vehicle, which is what's unique with fuel cell vehicle, is the, uh, the power plant that will make electricity on demand as you need it. The way it works is it brings the uh, hydrogen from uh, the tanks that are at the back of the vehicle, and when the hydrogen uh, goes into the stack, which is the centerpiece here, it splits into protons and electrons. And the protons are small enough that they will cross a membrane and meet with oxygen and create water, which is the one byproduct. And the electrons will go uh, on their way to create an electric current, and that current will uh, basically provide uh, electricity to the electric motor. The electric motor will uh, drive the wheels uh, and will produce 291 foot-pound of torque, uh, which is uh, excellent for effortless acceleration. That will definitely get you on those California freeways. Yes, you'll have no problem going on ramp uh, and uh, beat traffic into uh, the carpool lane. Okay, Jerome, so what exactly am I looking at here? How does the fuel stack convert hydrogen into electricity? So what you're looking at is what we call the, the power plant. This is the uh, assembly that creates the electricity on demand as you need it. And uh, the centerpiece here is what we call the stack. This is where the uh, hydrogen uh, will basically split and create electricity and water. Uh, the electricity will make its way up to the uh, uh, tub box over here that's called a, a junction box. And then it will go uh, through that large orange cable down to the inverter, which will control the motor uh, at the bottom. From that point, it's uh, exactly the same setup as a battery electric vehicle. The difference is that instead of bringing that energy from a battery, we make it here up top next to the motor on demand as you need it. All right, Jerome, let's talk about the hydrogen tanks. Yes, so we talked about how do we store the, uh, the energy, do, how do we store the hydrogen, and then we had three tanks that are in the back of the vehicle, so you can easily see two of them here, and there's a third one that's kind of back uh, in this region. So how much do these tanks hold and how far can they get me? 
the tanks contained 14 pounds of hydrogen, it's about 6.3 kilogram. If you wanted to have a battery that contains as much energy, you would have to have a 2,000 pound battery. And that's where you get some energy savings because you don't have to carry all that weight uh, as you're driving. This is enough energy to get you 380 miles and you can refuel those tanks in uh, less than five minutes which is uh, what you would have to compare to about an hour if you were fast charging uh, a battery with the same energy. Jerome, this has been very insightful. Thank you so much for taking the time today to explain to myself and everyone how the fuel cell stack works in the Hyundai Nexo. All right. Thank you, Lana. Thank you.